friends. Let's talk about the Migos one time. I want to say something. Times. Why? Because the, why? He said why. I will tell you why, sir. They got dreads. Okay. That's, that's that's not, dreads. Everybody love the dreads. That's not why. But I hate dreads. We can talk about I later. love dreads. The Migos, the Migos oh, recently dreads. gave some money, donated some money back oh. to their high school some back money. in Atlanta, right? Some money. And, I mean, usually, this would be a nice gesture. <laughs> usually, you have nothing... You have nothing bad to say about this, right? It's all it's all in good faith, good nature, you know what I'm saying? But the problem with it was the check was only for a thousand dollars. See, look, see, look. See, my thing about this is who liked that they high school enough to give them more than think about high school days. A they, they thousand dollars, though. I love high school. I love high school. Look, look, but why you anything? Look, my high school, okay, so you saying it was spiteful? Listen, listen. My high school will be lucky if they got a hundred dollars. If I had a million dollars, they you go? I went to Central High School in Detroit. Oh, oh. They not getting a penny. Yeah, okay. They didn't hey. teach me. Look, I came to college. I wasn't prepared. At all. I thought about the game. I the same way. Look, well, look, look. The Migos, that high school was against the Migos rapping, I bet. But maybe, but maybe if they were to donate some real money, they could help the school better, put itself into a better position to help the kids I need, out I need in a more productive something. manner. I've been wanting to say something for a long time. Go ahead, no, go no, ahead, no, Lou. No, no. But this, this is what I want to say, and this angers me and enrages me about the black community. Mm -hmm. I'm coming at you. Oh, I think I'm with you, Grizz. I think I am too. The fact that <laughs> they ain't have to get them nothing. Thank you. You feel me? Thank you. I don't care if it was 50 cent towards somebody lunch. Oh. That's still looking out. No, you feel see, me? I, it's oh, I'm not love. with you. I'm not with you. No, it's, I'm it's, not it's with still that love. It's still because, like you said, they probably didn't even like the Migos, but the Migos, like, you know what I'm saying? We about to come. We about to donate some money. We graduated from here. That's your alma mater. I'm gonna go after Morg. Hold on, Bub. I'm gonna go after Morg. Go ahead, Morg. Bub, how do you not know just because they donated a thousand dollars in this one picture that they haven't donated previous times or they haven't donated in their community? We don't even know really what well, they got what, some what, events. We don't even know really what they're doing or what they're spending on. You know what I'm saying? I, just, I think I think I think you're overthinking the topic of. No, 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 no. I think you, hold on. I okay. think you're overthinking the topic of just good deeds. I think like, you're overthinking it way too much. We don't know what they do. We don't know if they spend it in their community. We don't know. A thousand dollars, for real, for real, just because they're, they, they're the Migos and they, they're wealthy cool. now, yeah. that does not mean they're, I look like, you know what I'm saying? A thousand dollars can change a student. Right, I'm going to go right after you. I agree. But my thing is, you go donate a thousand dollars. Okay, donate a thousand dollars. Don't do it in the big fashion. That like you donated a million dollars. You, you could have slid was, the, the principal a check, check like when you a little lottery. personal check on his desk, and let and let that be that. Why make a big ordeal and make it a one of them big? You want a million dollar checks for a thousand dollars? Go go ahead, Trey. I'm gonna go after you. Listen, 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 listen. Keep game. Let's let's get away from high school. Let's talk about UT. Mm -hmm. If I graduated from UT and start making millions. Hold on. No, let's talk about this. If y'all graduate from UT and start making millions, how much money you gonna give back to UT? I'm gonna put on. You gonna give? You, I'm gonna give you gonna them put something. On? You go. They just yeah. some bands from you. you know? I'm gonna give them something. Oh yeah. See, I don't know, man. Maybe no, it's, it's bigger than them. It's bigger than them putting bands on you. Yeah. I'm like stingy, if I become man. a millionaire and and then I become a millionaire and I graduate from the University of Toledo, I'm gonna actually give back to the scholarship program to help pay for my education this, at UT. All the stuff we have here is not all from tuition. If it wasn't for the alumni giving back, we wouldn't yeah. have already had a studio. So, 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 so with right. that, with that said, that a thousand dollars that they gave back to their high school. Can do something. Can do something. Yeah. Can do something. The way they did it was the wrong. Basketball team or something. It, it, now, now, it, 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 in the presentation. Now, what I really wanted to say about that was the presentation, bro. They probably like. They probably didn't do the prison. They probably were like, yeah, no, we about to get a big check mm -hmm. so everybody can know we balling. They, the school probably set it up like that, you know what I'm saying? We about to have an assembly, you know what I'm saying? Come here and perform something for the kids, interact with the children. You know what I'm saying? So they probably did it as like, like, imagine if somebody, y'all ever had somebody famous come to your high school? No. I have, I, I have I, it. I have plenty of famous people come to my high school. So like, imagine, so you know how it is, you know I what I'm saying? Exactly it, it was turned up, yeah, turned you know. up in a, in a gymnasium. Everybody feel good. Hey, you feel there. me? But you know, I feel like I feel like it ain't about money these days. If you're gonna get back to your community, do it like in a matter of changing somebody's life. Going to schools, you know what I mean? It's all about truth. money. You know, you think they already rapping about you know what the look they rapping about. But it's all about they money. kids, no way. You know what I'm saying? That's not for the kids. So why are you surprised they But if it ain't about money, what is it about? I you told how you about gonna, how are you gonna help these kids if you're not giving they need the school Send needs them down. Some money. To, be, to better the environment the kids are learning. That's why you're saying, you saying that they probably didn't do nothing for them, just like our high schools didn't do nothing for us. They didn't prepare us for nothing. When I got here, I tested into elementary algebra. 
like when I got to college. I didn't know Dang, nothing. I was below that. I didn't know nothing. But I feel like maybe if our school had some more money, they could have hired better staff. They could have hired better uh, better tools and better uh, books and things of that nature, better labs. You know what I mean? And actually, you just said you just said the school you uh, interned for, they got like a full-blown studio, better than, better than this one. I don't know who rich there. I don't know who like, I'm, That's what I'm saying. They need our, our inner city schools need money so they can do things like that. But can I comment? Oh, well, first, my first comment is, I kind of wanted to know Keith's opinion on this first. My second comment was, because you just said something about like the money, and that's unfortunate that you went to a school and you all went to a school where, you know what I'm saying, just because y'all might have been in an urban area where y'all education wasn't equal. I remember last last semester we were talking about inequality and segregation. And I kept saying seg the world is still segregated. And they say, what's the word, de Joro or whatever, de jure? How like the world is like segregated, but it's like through laws. So like mm -hmm. you really don't see mm -hmm. it. Mm -hmm. I feel like right there in the school system, school system is segregated. It doesn't make no sense that you know what I'm saying? Because the school, it doesn't matter if the Migos donate a million dollars. Taxpayers all mad, they should all mad, you know what I'm saying? Each student should all mad be getting $13,000 on their education each year. I already just wrote a paper about this. You know what I'm saying? So it don't make no sense that just because I'm in the inner city school that my education is just not, yeah, you know what I'm saying? So that has nothing to do with how much money. That has everything to just do with segregation. I don't care what anybody say. You can debate me this white and, and black. Hey, I'm going to keep it 100, though. Like, I ain't know nothing coming in. I mean, I know a little something, something. But for real, for real, high school really don't prepare you for in the where life. Because I, I, I went to school in the suburbs. In the suburbs. But did you But you went to school in the suburbs, but a black suburb of Cleveland. I mean, but it's just you like... Look, look, black look. suburb. Look, did y'all know... It's a black, it's black, black suburb. Yeah. Listen, did y'all know in New Orleans, they're running a petition to actually segregate the school seriously. Like... The suburbs of New Orleans are trying to box themselves off away from Baton Rouge to start their own school district That's called disgusting. the St. George or something like that, St. George District. So basically, they want to take all the funding away from the black people and the black schools. And, that you know me. what I'm saying? That That's disgusting. Right. So yeah, basically, it's real what she's talking about. Like, no, it's really I'm just saying. Hear your you know what I mean? Well, get your roll on. On a uh, <laughs> on Amigos thing, my opinion is kind of strong. I know a lot of y'all going to disagree with me, but. I think that the donating a thousand dollars when you Migos and I'm sure you I mean they they not like super rich mm -hmm. but they got money. I they, honestly feel like them donating a thousand dollars is worse than them donating any money at all because they did that to be sarcastic. They they was trying to be funny because they got plenty of money. They could have <laughs> threw at least twenty twenty five thousand dollars, but they wanted to be funny because they probably didn't like high school. They probably didn't graduate from high school. That's what so I was about to say. They wanted to be funny, and I mean I get that because I went to two different high schools, and one of them I didn't like at all for a specific reason that I won't put out on here. But they ain't no I can I, even if I was to like yeah it's not, but if I was to um, <laughs> donate money even to them, like I wouldn't donate a thousand dollars if I was rich. I would still get them at least. Twenty, thirty thousand dollars, and I, I kind of didn't like that school. Like I really did not appreciate that school, and I still would get them more money because it's high school. Right. Come on, you can get more money than that. Now look, now look. This is another point. This is another point. In the picture. Hold on, wait, wait. This is another point. It really ain't about the money to better the kids. To be honest with you, like I said, I went to Central High School. Yeah, my we got our school. We got our school upgraded to the fullest. I'm talking about all types of stuff. The, I'm smoking just the best school to be in at the one point. Like damn, they could they put like millions in this school. Mm -hmm. And everybody's still not going to class. We still got people in there shooting guns and everything. So it's like, it don't matter how much money you put in it. It's about how much, you know what I'm saying, attention you get to kids. So get the money, Honestly. get the kids' attention, sit them down, tell them like, Thank hey, you. man, this ain't working. You know I, what I mean? That's what it comes I love your no. point. I really no, love it, your point because I, I have a sociology class this semester. So crazy that you just said that. So we were just watching this video. Today, it's called, if y'all please watch, it's called The Color Storm. And basically, like this teacher, she basically segregated the kids. The get the kids that she discriminated against was the kids that um scored poorly on their tests. The kids that she gave privilege to was the kids that scored high on their tests. And basically they used that as a metaphor mm -hmm. for inner city kids and white kids. It's not that black kids are less, you know, educated than a white person, but it's just that they don't have support. You get what I'm saying? They're you know mm -hmm. like it don't matter if you put me in a multi million dollar building. Mm -hmm. You get what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And let's be 100. The teachers there, do they believe in you all? No. But that, but now, let me let me say this. I feel like 
I don't feel like that's true because I feel like you never do. They, what, what is the saying? No, what's, no, what's, what's, what's the saying? saying? When you look, when you when you look good, you feel good. Don't people say that all the time? Yep. You know what I'm saying? The way you look and your surroundings dictate the way you carry true. yourself and the way you handle certain situations. No. It's like it really. If you're in if you're in a sewer, you're gonna act like a rat. Can you know I, what I'm saying? Say now, if you're in a mansion, and you may be a rapper, but you're going to change your ways, man. You're going to act a little different. You're going to walk around a little differently. You're going to take it more serious. I feel like it's the first step to show them, showing the kids that people care about them, giving them giving them something that they you got to show them. So look, so look, so look. I went to Wilberforce University before I came here. All right, okay. across the street in Central State. Right, right, right. All right. right. You know what I mean? I'm putting it to you like this. Wilberforce is like somebody's house. Yeah, it's <laughs> like One street, small. it's real right. Yeah, I've seen it. There's yeah. no, the building is dirty. It's just trifling. So you definitely. would think that Wilberforce students, compared to a Central State students with a big school and a big football field, and you know, you would think Central State students would carry themselves, mm -hmm. like you said, the better than it's the Wilberforce. It's and definitely the but it's the opposite. Absolutely. Wilberforce students is in their classrooms getting 3.0 because you know why? Because they set up programs to where we have to go to uh, meetings with professors and, you know, talk right. to teachers, and they have to sit down and talk to us about being men and women. You know, so they mm -hmm. probably don't do that at Central State. So, you know, it's about attention and about the money because Central State can. I agree. I agree. But they is acting crazy. They acting nuts. nut. They ain't taking it. Taking the I, 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 I agree I, with Trey. Central State School is it's like the project. Yeah, it is. I so that's the like they got more money than Wilberforce. Like but it's the way that it looks. They obviously ain't putting it into the infrastructure because it looks horrible. They got more it money. Does, it Wilberforce. doesn't have nothing to do with the building. And I feel like not trying to call you out, but you know you. what I'm saying. Not trying to call you out, but I feel like. You know, you can't speak on, because just like when we were talking about racism last semester, mm -hmm. your background is a little bit different from mm -hmm. Grizz's background or somebody that was that grew up in an all-black family background. So your perspective on what people, I'm not saying you're not, you're not, of course you're going to be discriminated against. No, got, Point got, period, got, you're got, a black man. But at the end of the day, you got raised differently than the other black men. Oh, so you, you don't, so. I, oh, you saying, oh, I did the foster care joint? Is that what you're saying? Yeah. Oh, that was only for like. Four or five years now. Like, point point period. You got raised. I'm just saying like I'm just saying like your your perspective is gonna be different because even like you still because no, you, you, you cut me off a lot. I'm, go, you cut me off a lot. You, got, you, go ahead, you got, your perspective when you talk about like just like the well the building blah 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 and well central state no what he's saying is just about support and when I say about segregation and like it's like it's like you overlook it like like it's nothing and it's something that is, is prevalent and it's serious. And I feel like you don't take it serious, and it Do really is. It? No, you are, no, like just last semester, you just said that no. what, what, you were just basically saying that segregation and black and white is not as in depth as it was sixty years ago. It's and I'm like, not. Yes, it is. It's absolutely, it's absolutely yes, it is. not the and way it was. And for you to think that, and for you to think that, you've been hiding under a rock, and you're you very you? ignorant. There's no way. There's no way you're you can very say. Ignorant. There's no way you're you can very say. Ignorant. Morgan, are you? Are, so are you saying 60, 70 years ago we were just as equal as we are today? Yes. And I'm the no. Yes. I'm, all right. This is this is. <laughs> It's called they do. I just said it's called they George. You know I couldn't go to you know I couldn't go to school with, like with like you know how we had Cody in here and everyone else in here who are white people like I couldn't go to school with them back then. Do you know it's a girl in my classroom? From she's from Memphis. Oh man, I wish I could remember her name. I know who we, you're talking about. She was correct. Yeah, oh, because we have the same class. I'm happy yeah. that we have the same class. And she just said she got kicked out of her school. Just mm -hmm. two years ago. Why? Because she was black. She was the only black person in her school. She said so she don't tell me stuff like that is not happening. I tried to tell me stuff like that is not happening. Like, they, like, to they told me to my face. They said, well, looking at looking at you and your mother, I, we didn't expect you to be able to afford it, so we didn't bother to get the paperwork together for you. Okay, so why, so why, so why, like that. so for you to say stuff like this is not prevalent. Because, because back then they wouldn't open the door, they wouldn't open the door for they you open, They open it, they open in the door for you. Look up, back, look, back, back get your, then, get your back smartphone out your pocket and look up the door. Because obviously you don't understand the definition of it. You feel what I'm saying? Obviously you don't understand the definition of it. Just because they're letting you, it's still segregation. I'm not saying it doesn't exist, sweetie. What you got to say? I'm saying that it is not, What do you got to say? I'm going to cut you off because you want to cut me off anyway. It is not and it's not as in your what face you as it say, was Anastasia? 60, I just 70 say, years ago. Um, I just want to say. You can't believe that. I just want to say that I feel like it's Let's definitely, it's okay for you guys to disagree. But I want to say I do understand both points on this. I definitely understand what Morgan is saying because if you, if you, I don't know if y'all watch Selma, we're doing, but we're doing the same thing today. 
And I, mm -hmm. we are. We're we're marching. We people are still dying in the streets, getting slaughtered mm -hmm. by people. And we, it is the same thing. It's just another. If we go, it's just just another civil war. So what? But I understand what um, Bub is saying. Is it's not that serious. It might not be as as bad, but it is still the same thing. You know, we are I'm still going don't, through it. Don't don't focus so much on the negative that you that you don't when you. It's a saying. It's a saying that says when you focus too much on the tree, you can't see the forest. When okay. you focus so much on the negatives, you fail to see the positives. You feel me? Yeah. And, that, and that's just that goes to say that yes, things are bad, but don't think for a second that they weren't worse or can't be worse because they were. They, they were be. a lot worse. I see what you're years saying. before we were born. Absolutely. You feel Absolutely. me? Absolutely. I understand, but if this, the same thing that happened 60 years ago happened last week and I'm worried about if my brothers or my boyfriend go outside and they go the wrong direction and they die, that's I'm not going to be looking at the forest. I'm going to be looking what's that fr in front of me right now at this point in time because it is happening today. And even though it's happening today and it might have been worse 60 years ago, it's still that bad. Like, okay. it's still bad. Right, you can't sugarcoat it. Let me ask y'all something. Let me ask y'all something. What, what's more, what's more like, what's more like, dangerous to you. Somebody who's going to sit in your face and tell you that they don't like you, or you're going to wait till you leave, they're going to smile on your face, shake your hand, yep. and then go go to their friends and tell you that they don't like you. That's like, uh, so we could go out there and be like, oh my God, we I was discriminated against, and this person did it. And the whole world going to know. Back then, it wasn't like that. You would get beat up in the alley, and you just get beat up in the alley. Is, so you can, that's that the only difference. Point. People don't want to come out and, and be a hater. Way. They don't want to come don't, out and be I, hatred. I'm not... Don't you know, get me wrong, y'all. I don't like. I'm not saying for a second that segregation does not exist. He's not. And that black. is not. And that is not. And that is not something that is That's a problem true. today. It is like I've experienced it. We all know what's going on. But all I'm saying is that don't let that neg all this negative attention and all this negativity we've been fed forget. Let but jade y'all to all. No, the, as far I, we I, have, I, do y'all understand? Do y'all understand that we had a we have a black president like that's not a small feat y'all there were 40 what 42 43 presidents before him i mean I, 42 40 like that that is a big deal and understand the fact that even if all the black people in the world voted for barack obama if all the black people in, in this country voted for barack obama and not one white person voted for him he wouldn't be in office because we are the minority which means a large portion of his vote came from white Americans, which means they felt the same way we did. We had, we deserve a chance. Like we, we've earned this. Like this is something like they didn't see color at that point. Like they saw equality. Like we've come a long way. And because we're being force fed this negativity, people, I feel like a lot of people are, are forgetting that Ooh, fact. I, who? I don't know. I honestly don't know. Did you know go to all black school? Who was our black president? Like you who? had, had you gone to an all black school before? Yeah, I'm from, like, I was, no, not an all black school. There aren't no all black schools, are there? Like, like high school? Yeah, or go, you know what? You mean, you know oh, where you, you need like to go? School? Go, go to Detroit with him. Detroit has an African American museum. Oh, you talking about like, a, not like an HBCU. Right no, I'm just talking about black inner city school because yeah, you know what? It's a yeah, difference between what they teach you. Yeah, well, who is? I'm saying like I, I, go, don't I just, told, just I just gave you, I just gave you, just 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 educate yourself because sometimes I feel like you yes, think you know what you're talking about. Sometimes I don't you don't. Know. I've never heard of another black president. I'm sorry. No, it's okay. <laughs> it's okay. I just said educate yourself. That's all I said. Educate all right, me now. Okay. Keep, come on. What's okay, so going on, Keith? before I got hot in the air, I wanted to go back to the topic of um Nelly. the whole. No, <laughs> not exactly. The um, the whole money thing about you know the better schools and how you perform better if you put money into it. And I really want to go back to what you say because you you said you went to you graduated from Central. Yeah, I know what you're talking about because my dad graduated from there. But um, what would you say are in terms of just the way they look and the way they built up the most high tech? What are the two best looking schools in Detroit, or at least the best the few best looking schools in Detroit? Uh, I'm going to say Cass and um, Renaissance. Yep, and I went to Renaissance for two years, and I will say that that is true. And what are the two highest performing schools in terms of academics? Uh, Cass and Renaissance. But before I finish that, you have to take a test to get in Cass and Renaissance and King. So, of course, you're going to perform better if you got to take a test to get in. You're not letting anybody in. It's like open enrollment. But it's a you mentality. Go, it's the fail. Yes, yeah, you're it's right. It's mentality. You're right, though. It's the mentality. Those are the two, th those are the two best looking schools, and they're the two highest academic performance schools. So, I feel like money does have something to do with it, at least to an extent. I'm, I'm not saying it doesn't have anything to do with it, but, but look, at no. least a little bit. But see, look. See, I'm a little older than you. I remember when 
when when Central wasn't, you feel me? Like when Cass Central and all them, they didn't have the nice schools. They was like regular high schools. It was still the same way. Cass students gonna perform better than Central students. You know why? Because you have to take a test to get in. It's like a higher, you know what I'm saying, prestige school. So it's like, but, it doesn't matter about the money because in Cass, the teachers care about them. And Detroit Central, the attention you get from individual stu uh, teachers, it's all about the attention. The money has really nothing to do with it as far as success. You have to get some attention and motivation first. Go ahead. Can I say something? Yes, ma'am. I feel like it don't matter if you are in a four by four room with no windows. If you got somebody that wants you to succeed, I'm talking about teachers, principals, counselors, secretary, they want you to succeed, they want you to do your best, you're going to succeed. If you're in a school, it could be the I nicest agree. school, and them teachers don't care about you, then you're not going to succeed. I went to an okay school, but I feel like my teachers and my principals wanted something out of me. Did they want something out of everybody? No, but they wanted something out of me, so I became how I am today. So it all depends on the teachers, and the teachers are horrible because, first of all, nobody's getting paid what they should be to teach, so nobody wants to be a teacher. So the teachers don't even want to be there. So that's where your foundation, that's where schools start. They start with the teacher, not with how the building look, not where how new it is. It starts with teachers. So that's go. That's the determining factor right there. You have to show the kids that they're worth something. True. You have to, a lot of kids in high school, I know when I was in high school, we didn't care a lot of times about what was going on because we didn't, like our surroundings, they didn't, they, they didn't give us any reason to care. You know what I mean? Our schools were crappy. You know, you know what I mean? The environment we lived in was crappy. You know what I mean? We didn't have anybody to look up. We didn't have anybody to, to really show us any worth. And I feel like when you give somebody something, what that thing is worth, it subconsciously to them reflects their worth. For example, if I give you $5 or if I give you $100, if I give you that 100 to me, you're worth 100 You know what I mean? Migos giving that thousand to those kids, they're worth a thousand. You know what I mean? Migos may not have meant it that way, mm -hmm. but those kids, to them, they were giving that. He was giving that money to them because he, they felt that he, they felt they deserved it. I'm, you know what yeah. I'm saying? Yep. But to them now, they're worth a thousand dollars. Yeah. They, they could have gave those kids something to let them know they're worth more. and They want to see them succeed, and they could have. That's all. That's kind of. That's all I'm saying. I, that's no, what I'm saying. Under, no, I understand what you're saying, but what you gotta say? I got one thing to say about that. I, I feel you. Say. But what if nobody gave them nothing before that? You mean nobody? What if nobody gave the kids nothing before that? You feel me? So that thousand dollars could be the same as you giving somebody a hundred dollars compared to you giving them five. If nobody gave them nothing, I don't agree with that. Something is better than nothing mentality. Because um, why not? Because because if you give me a penny, keep your penny, man. Yeah, I I'm worth that. more than that. I, I don't deserve. I deserve more. So if that's what you feel I deserve, don't give me that. Because I know I'm worth more and I deserve more than that. My church gave me, literally, I'm not joking, gave me a Bible and a pack of Skittles. I swear to y'all. A Bible and a pack of Skittles. And what I said was, man, they could have kept that. Don't give me that for granted. I said, I said, but that's exactly what everybody said. That's unappreciative. That's unappreciative. I said, bruh, I got Bibles at home. It's Bibles in every pew in this church. I don't need a Bible. I don't need Skittles. What I need is some money to help me with my tuition since I'm trying to go to college. If y'all feel I'm only worth a Bible and a bag of Skittles, then you can keep well, that. I don't need nothing from you. Let me, let me say something, though. Let me say something, though. Three people. I went to church, right? I went to church, too. And when I graduated, guess what my church gave me? Nothing. 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 Not even a shout-out. Now, the pastor's son got a shout-out and everybody praised him, but mm -hmm. I graduated. I came with my cap and gown on. After church, they gave me a couple handshakes. But I didn't get nothing. I'm still good, though. You that's know what I'm cool. But I'm still good. But I'm then getting the Bible in the bag of Skittles means that's what you're worth. You feel me? But that, that, I, I, that. I, I, I,